doing better than I thought they would. I mean, Romania is doing poorly, but how many men did they kill in this war? They managed to kill 615,000 Austrian troops, which really is going to make a huge difference, I think, in the long the longevity of this. How much manpower do they have right now? Probably less than 100,000. The strongest one in their faction right now is Galicia Lodomeria, so... Probably is not... It's probably a... A sad sight. Well, I guess I'll focus on doing something else then first. Get our military factories and then we'll join the Entente afterwards. I just don't want the Commune of France putting troops on our borders right away. Missing tungsten. What do we need tungsten for? Well, we need it for the anti tank. Oh, well, we have free civilian factories though, so you know what? Let's put a, let's put like uh, two more in Catalonia and then we'll focus a little bit on some military projects in Old Castile. That doesn't make any sense at all. Why would I do that when I would just. Uh, Put more in Catalonia because that's where the research bonus is. Or the speed bonus is. So, Macno. You and your weird scarred face. I'm coming for you. Somewhere between, you know, a while and a long time from now, but I'm coming. You better be repaired, Bordeaux. I'm just surprised that the Entente's not being as aggressive as I think they should be. Hillary has up. You know what? Let's get more tanks then. We will research our way to encryption. I'm sure that matters. And now this, the stalemate is now here instead of on this river. I guess that's better for them. Okay, Socialist Honduras is capitulated. Is that from the Mexicans? Yes, Mexico's doing pretty well in the south, but if you look up northwards, it's really just making the American Civil War drag its way to Mexico. Really just a strange state of affairs. Okay, now Canada's the third war on the Commune of France. Um, do we wait 50 days and then join the Entente, or do I cancel this and join the Entente right now? Let's just wait for the military factories, uh, and then we can join the Entente afterwards. I'm not too sure if that gives the AI, like, the little warning, being like, hey, people are just fighting wars against you. Which you can sometimes get when people are joining factions that you're at war with. And I'm wondering how many troops did, um... Are on this border right here. Because they might have abandoned the Entente border to focus their entire attention on uh, Germany, which it actually looks like they did. So France, you know, they've, they've got a lot to work towards. Sweden and Finland, neither of them actually joined the Reichspact, which I'm a little bit surprised by. They usually do. Sad note. The death tanks are coming. Our, our, our single stack of death tanks. We're making six of them a week. I mean, I could theoretically deploy them early, but I feel like that's kind of dumb. They only have half as many as I need. I have, like, none of the SP artillery. Nor enough motorized. We got a lot of infantry equipment, though. Mostly from all of the... Uh, Guns you were giving by our allies before. I mean, there's a chance that Canada and stuff will just give us tanks in the future. Just wait until you have two. Do this here. One there, one there. Well, I mean, okay, we're actually going to get four. So we'll put two, 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 one, one. 
Use focus is done in uh, 28 days. Theoretically, it'd be faster for me to suggest my friends myself in the Clear War than actually joining up with the Entente, but. I think it removes all of my surprise attack potential to do so. How many boats? Do I not have any boats? I have not a single boat in my, my fleet. You know, let's hire these guys. We'll see what they do. I have a lot of political power. Um, we do want to save it to so go immediately up to war economy. Probably don't need to go to extensive because we have 1.55 million uh, recruited population at the moment, which I think is pretty good. Trucks are easy to produce. I mean, we're, we're making more trucks. Trucks will be ready in 120 days. 307 for you. You're going to be done in 100 days. So, you know, like half a year. So, like October, roughly. But I, I still think that we can attack with our infantry divisions first. And then they won't even see our death tanks approaching. Yes, you got... Um, we're 80% of the way there. Germany's going to war in Denmark. Is Denmark going to join up with... Who the hell is this dude? Is, is Denmark going to join up with the Internationale? They might join the faction. It's entirely possible. And they still have not killed Romania. Trying to damn this, but they still cannot actually accomplish it. But I think just creating a second front line down the south is, is could potentially break the French. What I'm assuming right now what's happened is Canada has probably put like... Canada and the French Republic probably put so many troops in Belgium. Trying to fight them there. We got our military factories. Let's join the Entente. And they better... I mean, theoretically Canada can say no, but I don't know why they would. What are the bonuses we get here? Kind of garbage, kind of garbage. The Latin Economic Union. If you use invasion speed, most of this is horrible, and I don't, I don't want those. Get support equipped to three. And the factories, our production cap is still pretty bad. We still got a recovering economy, which is absolutely horrible, and takes ye like probably like two years to even finish and get rid of. We're doing our best. Right now we have base cap at 50%. It's growing by about 0.2% per day. So 1% every 5 days. And you are um, only at half. So we could probably be producing like 2.5 tanks a day at our current cap. We have like four months until the tank is ready to go. Exactly. If we we don't even need to build factories, we can just steal them from the French. I don't know how many factories they have in the south, but hopefully enough that I can just take them and they will not mind. More factory output. Yeah, absolutely. If we want these tanks to go, we need to get this done. We still don't know what they're doing exactly. Was that the encryption or the decryption that finished? They're actually, they're both done, so it doesn't really matter. We don't have enough military ex experience to uh, come go down this tree at a discount. I think we will hold off on getting the next one for now. We could start researching like nuclear bombs, but I really don't think the campaign is going to last long enough for us to really utilize them.
But if we can, like, take Bordeaux, take this whole area, like, just this across, like, this... i just make a straight line, please. Like, just this area here. That's pretty good. Like... And we should be able to get it done pretty quickly. It does not look like the French are putting troops down here, which is nice. So I'm going to ask the uh, Canadians, they want to join the war. Because if I do not do that, then the AI will put troops down to on our border because it sees that we're in a hostile faction. So if we attack right away, we will we can definitely make up some ground. We can probably at least take like maybe f at best these three states and everything below it. That would be fingers crossed the best case uh, scenario. Why am I trading with the Commune of France? That's a dumb idea. Just don't trade. Don't give them anything. Germany. My good friend, give me some steel. I need it for all these goddamn tanks I'm building. How the hell is Romania still alive? Like, what are they doing? Okay, so we will be 35 more days, so we're actually in the war. We're almost done our anti-air. The anti-tank, we're about halfway done. Medium tanks are about two-thirds of the way done. So soon we're going to have a surplus of anti-air uh, units. That's nice. I mean, do you have any superiority in these regions? The answer is I don't know because we, we're not actually at war with them. Like, I could theoretically do a naval invasion of Bordeaux. Denmark's been annexed. Okay, did not take long. Hello, Prince uh, Eugene de Savoy. How are you today? have 23 more days less than one month build more tanks all the cool kids are building tanks these days what do they have on their border some steel capturing the steel would be nice we don't have to import it we're also importing aluminum. So actually, capturing these supplies down here would be nice as well. Do they have any tungsten in their country? Italy has a little bit. The Brits have a little bit, but we're definitely not going to invade Scotland uh, at the current moment. I don't know. Are they going to have nail superiority? They usually don't in the Mediterranean. That's at least been my uh, experience. Langness. Okay, we have 12 more days. It looks like this is basically turned into a stalemate. I'm hoping that the International is just throwing yeah, like 4 million manpower. Did they elect the Anarchist to... Um, of course they did. This, getting the Anarchist has to be the best one for the conscription. Like an extra 3%. I think Commune of France, like when we played them, we had like a 12% recruitable population and we were still on, I think, limited. Like I think as Commune of France, you can be on volunteer only and still have 10% recruitable population, which is absolutely insane. You're almost ready. We're mostly waiting on the SPG. Be done in 85 days. So two months. Two months from now. We'll be good to go. We've done the joining on Tunt Focus. We're not in the faction quite yet. 520 right now. We need to keep going down this tree. Bonus of the industry. Okay, we're joining the Entente. Canada. 
Why are you fighting this guy? It doesn't matter. Yeah, we've now joined the war. Which is a little bit scary, but we'll see how this goes. Keep on marching forward. You can be marching in this direction, please, and thank you. Not a pack with the Austrians and Germans? Sure, dude. Yeah, the French have already decided to show up. But I believe we can probably push into them regardless. Finland's declared war on Sweden, a very odd development. We'll agree to everything that we're being offered. Hopefully the uh, Entente will put some more troops on our border, but that's... I mean, I, I don't know. I've never seen a Swedish-Finland war before. I mean, that's interesting in and of itself. Keep on pushing forward. Do not let the commune have any rest at the moment. Pulling out of Toulouse. Keep on advancing north. Well, I would like to take Bordeaux ASAP. We're just a little bit heavily defended. Something like this. We have more military factories. Build those tanks. No, more tanks, please. Like that. Thank you. I think I screwed it up. A little bit by accident, but, you know, what can you do? Push across the river, please, and thank you. Yes, more non-aggression packs. What are we missing? Steel? We get that from the Germans. But I won't be able to build any more factories. Oof. These resources are still in French hands. These ones are also in French hands, because they're still on Bordeaux. We need to get us around on the city. That much is obvious. We take Bordeaux, we will get a ton of uh, materials here. And is that enough to control this region? It is! So that should mean we have enough resources. We're importing too much steel. Get out of here. We don't need this. And we don't need the aluminum anymore. We're extracting a decent amount. I'm going to put some more factories into infantry production because I think the tanks for now are good to go. And Bordeaux should also fall soon. Giving us a healthy amount of factories. And I would say that this is a pretty good first attack. Technically, the British are in multiple combats, even though they're not. But as long as it benefits me, I do not care. Funny how that works out, huh? Not a great for the Danes. That's fine. So I'm hoping you guys on some other fronts are able to make some sort of progress. Because to say that I'm, you know, pulling in my uh, share of the work is an understatement. I am more than pulling my weight here. You guys can hold position then. Pushing our way through this line. Can we get a nice surround? That'd be nice. Yeah, I think we can get like a small surround. 
Something like this. We get the green with the Dutch. Um, I guess we'll start... Large submarines. Produce some of those guys. Usually because those are just like the cheapest ships to build. Uh, what do we need right now? We're mostly good on everything. Getting an Air Force... I think we'll, we'll, just, we'll let the rest of the Entente deal with getting an Air Force for us. We're going to focus on building our tank armada. Yeah, well, so the surround here doesn't matter anymore. We capture an airport. Marseille is almost already within our uh, grasp here. You guys hold position, you guys hold position. I think you're fine, like, no longer doing attacks. We've taken Bordeaux, which is a lot of factories for us. And watching it all switch to orange to be under my occupation. Absolutely beautiful. By the way, you guys can just go back to being regular. If you're on aggressive the whole time, you'll still try to attack the enemy if I don't want you to. You hold position, you hold position. Keep marching your way to Marseille. That's a... That's a pretty big uh, deal to capture that city to say the least that love like this is wow beautiful um something like this for now it's 1940 what do I want to research you know, let's just go for the next level of medium tank. I mean, there are some international troops being... Or not international, some Entente troops being... Uh, moves it down to the south, which is nice. Yeah, you don't need to be here anymore. Like, this is just fantastic. Already taking La Rochelle. this and I think that's pretty good for like the first week or so of combat I would say at least um there's more submarines I guess we're not gonna prioritize building submarines for obvious reasons that we don't like, I don't really care about them that much the ability is low let's send in the army and we're gonna you know, we have a handful more battles here, which is nice. Uh, of course, we want to go up to War Economy. We're already on service by requirement. We don't want to go up to um, anything else. Shrink the blue line down like this. And you guys can actually hold position for now. Like, that is wonderful. Oh, I'm trying to like scroll through my chat, but it's also scrolling through the uh, the map for obvious reasons. The commie is putting some reinforcements here. That's gonna move up to here. Purple, your front line is to go from here to this river. We'll wait a little bit, get some reinforcements in, but that's a lot of front line that we're basically just added to the international. But it doesn't really look like the our allies are really putting any uh help with us, which is a real a real, real shame. But unfortunately, I think this has to be the end of the stream for today. So thanks everybody for uh, tuning in. If you've enjoyed on Twitch, come over and follow me on YouTube. If you've enjoyed me on Twi YouTube, come follow me over on Twitch. Um, you can also support me uh, if you go underneath my YouTube videos. There's a little button that says join. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help me pay my rent. Which is, of course, very important so I don't get kicked out of my house. 
Um, I don't really know what else I really have to say. Just, you know, subscribe to me on YouTube. It's always nice. Um, but have a great day. And goodbye.